Hello everybody. Today I'm pleased to welcome Amalia, who's joining us all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. And she's going to tell us a little bit about herself and why she loves the sea. Welcome, Amalia. Hi, thank you for having me. Like you said, my name is Amory Maima. I am 24 years old and I am from the Caribbean island of Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, currently, I'm working offshore, trying to obtain my free time so that I can upgrade from a second officer to a chief officer. All right. And tell us something about why you decided to go to sea or to select this profession. What is it that sparked your interest? If I'm being 100% honest, when I was in primary school, I had a teacher, one of my favorite teachers, along with some of my uncles who used to go work on a cruise ship. They all came back around the same time and they were sharing their stories about working at sea, the adventures, all the places they had gone to. And at seven, that sparked my interest. And I said, you know what? That's what I wanted to do. As I got older and I did more research, I think um, just because it was something unique, it was something different, it wasn't the typical nine to five. I think that's what drew me to it more. Um, I don't know if it's genetic. I have family that works in the industry, but it sparked my interest at seven and it never left. That sounds a lot like my story because my dad uh, was, uh, he's a marina. And uh, even though I never sailed, I know that, you know, you kind of inherit that passion for the ocean and everything ma maritime. So um, what is the one thing you would say that you really love the most about this profession? Is it when you're sailing out there? Is it just the feeling of, you know, being free or seeing the world? What would you say is the most loved thing about this? For me now, with everything going on within the world, I would say I love the stability of my job. Shipping is an asset, shipping is something to do no matter what. And with everything going on, I'm the most grateful for that. Um, overall, I would say, like you mentioned, there is a feeling of at least a feeling of being at home on board vessels that I do not feel like well. But with Corona and everything going on on the global front, I'd be lying if I said anything else, just being grateful that I'm in an industry where we are still needed. Absolutely. And speaking of the pandemic, you know, this has really impacted crew change and there have been so many unfortunate incidences where uh, seafarers are trapped on board, unable to go home. And do you think that this is going to dissuade more people from joining sea? What do you think? I think that Corona gave the entire world a uh, shake and companies now have to get creative and think of ways to continue with crew change and everything else as necessary for production to run smoothly. I don't think that it should dissuade young people from joining because the reality is it is a job that is needed. The world would not run if shipping is not a part of it. So yes, initially there was a lot of problems. I think now companies have become better. I know of companies that work with the government, so the workers, the class as essential workers, so they do have um, the ability to go and come for the period of work. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, we're away from our families for longer than we'd like, but it's better than I think not being able to work or not being able to do any of it. So for me, it's important to put this positive spin on it. Well said. And what do you have to say to all those young women out there who probably will watch this and aspire to go to sea? Do you have a message for them? I would say be brave, be bold, come out here, put your best, best foot forward. Make sure to learn as much as you can, ask questions. I find a lot in the industry, you find people that are scared to say, well, I don't know how to do this, or I'm not sure. Especially when you're starting out, you're here to learn. There's no shame in not knowing. So make sure to ask questions, take notes, and just learn as much as you can. Wonderful. It was great talking to you. And thank you so much for joining us on our Women On Board series, specially curated for the month of March. Uh, a very happy Women's Day to you and keep on and uh, we hope to see more of you soon. Thank you so much for having me.